Well, good morning, everyone. today I'd uh, have a little chat with uh, some items I'd like to talk about. Um, I'm going to call this session, uh, let's call it guitar notes and talk. I don't know, something like that. Maybe guitar notes. I'm trying to figure it out. Guitar notes for thought. Something, something that we can talk about. And the first thing I wanted to bring up is guitar strings, old guitar strings. What do you do with them? Do you just throw them in the garbage can? Um, I've done that, um, but I'm, I'm still looking for the best way to dispose of these things. A few years ago, well, it's quite a few years ago now, I was at a park and I noticed a bird that was choking, was uh, sitting on the water. It was a, a, a snow goose. They're real beautiful birds. They migrate a long way. Some come as far as uh, uh, Russia to get to California at a certain time. <laughs> So anyways, but here he was choking and I went over and I could see that there was fishing line hanging out of its mouth. So I grabbed a hold of it and I pulled it and was able to pull the fishing line out. I'm so glad there wasn't a hook on the other end, but it freaked me out. And uh, the, the bird did fine after that, it went off and was real happy. But, um, but that reminded me is these strings because we throw them in the trash and they end up you know out the garbage dumps and the birds are all out there. You know, can they pick them up and swallow them? Um, if they do, that, that can't be good. So what do you do with these things? I, I looked online, there's very little about it. I think there's a couple of companies that you can ship them to them, but that costs money. Can you throw them in the recycle bin? Is that acceptable? Will they take this? Or maybe save them and take them down to the recycle company? I don't know. I'm going to check into it, but I wondered if anybody out there had a, a solution. Maybe you've got an answer to it as to what do we do with these guitar strings? Because um, I have a feeling that just throwing them into our garbage cans, probably not a good idea for many reasons. And one would be the safety of, of the animals. So, okay. So that, that was one thing I wanted to bring up and I'm hoping you'll answer me on that one. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up is, uh, you'll notice I'm playing my SC13E, uh, my Martin again. We're celebrating Martin with our coffee today. I got, I have here uh, a Martin cup. <laughs> it's, it's fun. Hey, it's a lot of fun. This is a big cup. It's so heavy. Uh, I, I'm almost wondering, you know, this is one of those cups. It, it feels like a big bunch of lead here but it's got good coffee inside so i hear with i'm here with my uh, martin sc 13e like this guitar but yesterday i happened to go to a store um in the area that's closing and um I, i'm going to show you a couple video clips um at some point i'll i'll, I'll just go ahead and, and put them in this conversation um, because what's so concerning about this particular store is that it's closing. And once again, it's the dying breed of the privately owned guitar stores, because this one's closing out. And it's a sad sight to see all the walls bare. Just a few guitars left. Sorry to see this, this store go. before that I'm going to be going on a road trip soon and uh, the, one of the purposes of the road trip is to find some of these old uh, mom and pop shops, pri these privately owned guitar stores that just offer a little more than these big huge giant corporations. Um, I think they do anyways because it's a place of community gathering and um, you know and it's you get a chance to go in and pick things up and, and actually play them and Sometimes you'll find some oldies in there, and I don't know. It's just kind of sad to see these kind of stores close, um, and I'm sad to see this one go. And being in there and seeing all the walls empty, you know, just kind of reminded me of how important some of these places really are, and we're letting them go. It's kind of sad. But while I was in there, 
I got a, the reason why I'm holding this is that I got a chance to actually play one that was made, one of these SC-13Es that was made in the United States. So I'm going to play a few clips, me playing, someone else playing, I'm going to show you the guitar uh, right here. So here is the SC-13 made in the USA. I just have to show you this inlay. Look at that. This is solid wood, rosewood back and sides. Beautiful piece of spruce, Sitka spruce it looks like. There's those next bracing. We have, uh, look at that. Avalon just outlining the whole guitar. line neck and look how they use the different woods to bring that out really beautiful that's and there's the uh, little plates inside that you don't want to touch unless you know what you're doing made in 2022 beautiful okay <laughs> so it's just a, a, a wonderful uh, guitar that, that is made here um, and um, in the United States. And playing, knowing the difference, you know, playing this one and then playing that one. Wow, that's beautiful. She wants a Kellogg's cornflake. <laughs> Float me my bowl, take a little piece. <laughs> you remember that song? <laughs> There is a difference. I can't say that this plays like that American-made one. And certainly, uh, that thing costs uh, $8,000. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm not paying $8,000. Uh, this this will do perfectly fine, thank you. And uh, I, I doubt the differences will be that extreme to pay that kind of price but it's a beautiful guitar and i understand why it's expensive look at look at the work on it look at the the inlay it was just beautiful so i wanted to share that and also wanted to share with you the the store that's closing and um, i'm sorry to see it go what a, and um, uh, it's uh, i've been in there several times and um, it's been a lot of fun um, so okay so the last thing I think the last thing I want to ask you about is uh, tuners. Um, I, I go online and I actually I've downloaded a lot of tuners to uh, you know my my iPhone, and I think I most commonly use uh, Guitar Tuna, and there's another one that's called Simply Tune. There's a few of them out there that are really good, um, and uh, they're very convenient to have it on on your device. Wondering from you, do you have a favorite uh, guitar uh, tuner out there? Maybe you'd rather have a tuner, you know, just on your headstock. This guitar has a tuner inside. I don't know if you can see it inside the sound hole. The drawback of that is if you forget that you turned it on, you'll think you lost power. <laughs> because when you turn it on, obviously the instrument mutes uh, to whoever is listening to it. And if you don't turn it off, it, it, it's it's not going to play for you through your through your pickup. So <laughs> so, anyways, I had that happen. I mean, I had people scrambling around, going, "What? Well, where's the sound? What's going on? What? You know, checking the power, checking the amps, changing out amps." And basically, all of a sudden, I realized <laughs> I felt so stupid. I almost didn't want to tell them that I forgot to turn my tuner off. <laughs> It's kind of the first place to look. And it's not, uh, basically, that's not something new for me. I, I, sometimes my brain just doesn't doesn't click in like it should. Maybe it's, maybe it's the aging. 
I'll say that's what it is, although it happened to me when I was young too. So maybe it's part airhead, I'm not sure. Well, anyway, so I thought I'd share that with you today and um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guitar notes or guitar notes for thought or guitar and notes, I don't know. <laughs> if you got a name for this little session, let me know because I'd like to do these every once in a while. I'm thinking about going live and doing something like that where we have some discussions around some of the th these things. Um, I've never done it before. I've only been working on this this uh, channel for a couple months now. So um, it's all new to me and I'm trying to figure my way. And I thank you for all your feedback because it does help me. So, all right, enough rambling. Maybe that's what I should call it, rambling notes. <laughs> All right, you have a great day out there. Go get yourself a good cup of coffee and enjoy.